What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's Harry Haas here, and this is going to be part three in my first bounce video series. And today I'm just gonna be going over some topics that a lot of members have asked me. I know this pattern is pretty popular and I know a lot of people were anxious for me to put a part three video out. I can't believe that it's almost been a year since I made my first part one and part two. So without further ado, let's get into it. And just by the way, this is not financial advice, even if it seems like it. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, basically, this is just sharing my views and my opinions, and uh, yeah, that's about it. First and foremost, I'd like you guys to watch part one and part two if you have not seen this one yet. And the reason is I'm just going to be going and diving deep into this setup. So I expect that you guys have watched part one and part two because part three, it's not about the setup and how it works. Part three is about using the setup more effectively to make sure that you are more profitable. So expectations with the first bounce. Frontside bounces, I'm a bit more patient on because I know that this, this move is not over yet and that people are still buying this move and that it's still going up. Backside bounces, I know that there are more sellers than buyers. I understand that we are on the backside of the move, so I am less patient and I am looking for more of a scalp trade than being a little bit more patient like I am on the front side. The front side bounces, you can be a little bit more patient on. You usually can get a little bit more of a gain than a backside bounce, but that doesn't mean that you can go ahead and be greedy. It just means in the back of your head, you can say to yourself, now I can be a little bit more patient. But the backside bounces, which we will get into, we're going to get into all of this. The backside bounces are more for scalp trades. And if it starts to stuff, you need to be realistic with the trade. Meaning that if a lot of people start buying the stock and it can't break a line or it can't break a level, that's usually going to be your sell target. That has kept me safe from avoiding a dump. And it's it's really, it's kept me safe in a lot of different scenarios. But basically, it's if a lot of people start buying and it just really can't break a level, that is what a stuff is. Alex talks about the stuff moves a lot in further detail than this in chat and in some videos so you can go ahead and watch those in the MIC library so the front side now this is this front side and back side chart was developed purely for first bounces there are going to be some variations for different setups but the, this is a front side first bounce and a back side first bounce type of move so usually on the front side we get a we get a spike out of nowhere at 9 30 usually there's no no volume traded further on the day usually it's just a big spike up yeah we're we're looking for a big spike up. The second type of first bounce is, you know, a clean uptrending stock with one visible niche to choose from, and that is going to be a clean uptrending stock in pre-market. Uh, if it's uptrending, usually after the open, or it just kind of is a grinder, I usually don't don't like those types of patterns. And the front side, it doesn't have a pre-market high acting as resistance. It is making new highs actively. It doesn't have a high at like you know, a dollar away, you know, the high might be 30 cents from where it is trading. It's going to be above VWAP and you can, you can feel the increased volume coming into the stock. You know, when it's a hot chick and you can feel people trading it and you can feel the volume coming in. That's, that's what I like. I don't like it to be choppy at all. Remember, I'm looking for a free flowing move, uh, not a super high float for the front side. I don't like those because they usually trade like pigs and they usually don't have a lot of range. So I don't like those. And I'm looking for, yeah, an uptrend. Trend, basically this is an example of an uptrend where you know it comes up it comes down and then it keeps going up I you know that it's basically an uptrend uh, so tips on the front side if it feels like you're fighting the stock then don't trade it I say this all the time where I don't like bounces where you know the stock comes up and then you know 
we're getting a lot of chop on the way down and it feels like backside and it feels like every little pop even before it gets to the niche is being sold I don't like stuff like that sometimes the best trade is no trade and even after watching this video if you're like well I, I really don't want to trade the first bounce yet I'm not really comfortable with that that's okay if you see a first bounce you can watch it or you can record it or you can go over it a lot of that stuff is very helpful guys because even if you don't trade it sometimes you can learn more from not trading a setup and just watching it so the next time when the setup comes again you are able to play that setup with you know a little bit more information than you had before remember that we're trading with the trend i don't like death candles at all that's usually tasha's short signal i don't like that type of big 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 death candle stuff like that not for me i'm also like what i mean by a lot of these these moves in part one and part two is i'm looking for a fresh stock i'm not trying to trade the second bounce or the third bounce or the second spike or the third spike you know or stuff like that i'm looking for the first spike and i'm looking to go down and play to that niche so the scan a lot of people have been asking me how i scan for these plays there's two types of first bounce plays that i like number one are the biggest gainers in pre-market now this is a more this type of uh, setup is more rare we only really see it a couple times a month where it's a low float uptrending stock with a niche similar to the OPTT chart a lot of people know this chart from my part one and part two it's going to be in the video further along and i'll mention it but we're looking for a low either the stock is uptrending and it's just uptrending into the open or so let's say we have none of those low float stocks uptrending towards the open usually i'll try and alert in chat and say hey i'm looking at this niche or hey i'm looking at that niche uh but basically usually we don't we don't get that type of stuff so let's say there's no biggest percent gainers in pre-market let's say there's no uptrending low floats with a niche then i'm going to be looking for the biggest percent change after the open with no pm volume which is like a sp fresh spike and usually it's a stock that have n has news usually it's a reverse split stock uh lower float those are types of stuff i like a lot better than just trying to to trade all the stocks that are up on the day or just kind of kind of trying to force a first bounce on a when a first bounce isn't there i i see a lot of people that try and force a first bounce or just go go out and say okay only looking for first bounces is fine but you need to be very disciplined if you're gonna you know trade that way because you can't just be making stuff up you can't say oh you know here's a higher float stock or here's a, a stock on the back side i'm gonna look for a dollar or two dollars on a first bounce like that that type of mindset just won't work. What you need to do is look at all the stocks up on the day, pick the best criteria, and then go in from there. Anyway, this is the end of this video, guys. I know it is long, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. And be sure to send me a message in chat if you liked it, or be sure to kind of tell other members about the first bounce pattern. I know there are some people, you know, that have been struggling and have finally came to MIC and are looking to learn new patterns. So yeah, you know, this pattern is great for kind of a beginner pattern and is a great stepping stone into consistency and learning more long patterns. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and start doing more videos like this guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this one and for next time this is harry haas signing off thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tasha using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here